Hey everyone, welcome back to Uncharted 4, part 10. Hope you enjoy. Get us the hell out of here. Yeah, freak it. Hold tight. Be there as soon as I can. Shit, Sam, sniper! Fight cover! little brother. Got it. 
down to the water? Yeah, set her down. One way or another, we'll get to you. One, huh? They shot up my goddamn plane, Nate. We're fine, thanks. How soon can you get us to Madagascar? No treasure, then. Not yet. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, we're rich. Jesus. I suppose it's a start. Do you think the rest is in Madagascar? Well, there was a chamber back there with a giant map of Madagascar on the floor, so... Yeah, it's probably there. This is beginning to smell a whole lot like wild goose, kid. Look, the treasure was never in Scotland, okay? Then what was the point of all that, huh? Of the St. Dismas Look, Cross? it's like I said. I think Avery was recruiting people. The cross was an invitation. The caves were just some sort of uh, initiation. Oh, so we all passed, huh? Congrats, Victor. We get eye patches and parrots now. I don't get it. Why the hell would they go to all that bother just to weed people out? To protect themselves. Look, Avery was the most wanted man in the world at that time. He had to enlist people that he could trust in order to keep their treasure secret. 
What do you mean, their treasure? I mean, just think about this. Thomas II was a successful pirate in his own right. What would he possibly stand to gain from joining Avery? I think Avery sent out crosses only to the other wealthy pirates like himself. What if they pooled and hid all their treasure together? That would make the gun's way all look like chump change. Exactly. Oh, holy shit. Okay, so where exactly in Madagascar are we going? Kings Bay. It was an old pirate haven back in uh, Avery's time. I know it well. It's a big place. Anything more specific? Well, that map chamber completely caved in, so, you know. <laughs> what are you laughing about? The people who survived the caves. The recruits. What's the one thing they would have left with? There's a volcano on this. <sighs> there's a volcano near King's Bay. Which means we need to get a move on. What do you mean? Well, you know, the news, there's been all that flooding. Maybe going to Malaysia during the monsoon season wasn't such a good idea. Yeah, right. Right, yeah, it, uh, it grounded us for sure. You know, had some equipment failure, but, you know, no one's hurt or anything. Well, as long as you guys are safe. So are you going to start work tomorrow? Uh, postponed, actually. Uh, looks like we're going to need maybe another 10 days or so. Ugh, 10 days? Hey, well, I, why don't I just uh, go ahead and buy a ticket then? Oh, you know, you don't have to do that. It's fine. I mean, you know, these guys always overestimate things. So I'm sure it'll be less time than that. Okay, well, you know, don't rush. Make sure that you're safe. Oh, I will. Always do. Uh, listen, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I gotta go. Jameson's calling me over. Okay. I love you. Love you too. What are the satellites saying, Victor? Right now, not a goddamn thing. I lost the signal. Hey, you know what never loses signal? Paper. All right, this route right here should take us straight to the volcano. Might get a little bumpy, though. Let's get the show on the road. Okay. All right. So, what are we looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Some abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. One of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Fingers crossed. see some ruins up ahead. Wait here. I'll go take a look. Oh, Victor. You still do a lot of traveling these days? Yeah, I try. I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. <laughs> yeah, I was telling Nathan, it's shocking how much of the business has moved to the internet. Yeah, sure, mm. but I Not prefer much to talking see to here. clients face to face. Get a good read on them.
Well, ah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. Okay, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest 4 by 4 Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time, kid. behind the waterfall. Gentlemen, we are on a pirate adventure. What are you, seven? So, Victor, how is it that you know King's Bay so well? Huh? Well, first time out here was for a swap. Of course. The deal went bad and I got arrested. I'm bribing the police chief. Again, of course. And in the process of negotiating the bribe, we, uh, and I made a point to come visit him. It's a note. Preempt any trouble we might get into. Can you still reach out to him? Her. Oh, my mistake. <laughs> it wasn't like that for once. We just saw the world in similar ways. Besides, she moved. Brazil. It's been a few years since we've seen each other. Well, maybe time for a visit. Maybe. First, let's wrap this up. All right, let's get moving. So, you find anything, kid? No. What a rip off. A little warning next time. I guess the first time in years I've had two showers in one day. <laughs> that bridge there is what you would call rickety. Uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go, 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 go. Made it. Okay, kid. <laughs> just don't drop us. Hey, just keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going on right now. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Onward and upward. All right, hang on, guys. Getting nowhere fast. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this. <laughs> I got mud in my mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna scout around. Uh, love this weather. Yeah, yeah that car won't fit through here. <laughs> Gotta be a way Stuck through Panama, somehow.
Tire tracks. Someone came up this way. We're gonna do the same. A tower or something. Now we're talking. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. Going off road. It might rain, might be muddy. I'll let me go through this whole goddamn thing and never use it. Oh, gee. shit. <laughs> My fault. Take this slow, kid. Yeah. So, Nathan, you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because... Why, exactly? Who knows? But maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on them. Sure. Maybe, uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. a valiant effort. Let's go check out that tower. Got some big plans for this winch. It's in pretty good shape or something several hundred years old. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. There. That ought to do it. Sam, look, that's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to, what, be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, yeah. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. Ha, <laughs> poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. Taking forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor. Patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a former squid. 
the point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah. Well, still taking a long time. Hey, Nathan, check out that cave there. Stay put. You see something? <laughs> you guys didn't talk about me while I was gone, did you? Be a trail marker. Let's keep an eye out for them. How would you look at that? Oh shit! Stop! Stop! I see him. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. Yeah, that means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh, shit. You do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead. Alright. I think this is it for now. I'll see you in the next one.